Hello again. And welcome back by Alessandro. And Abe. Um, so last episode we went a bit over in a rabbit hole with segments. <laughs> yeah. But this time we want to introduce contours, actually technically <laughs> shape contours. Yeah. Okay, what are these shape contours? So shape contours are made out of segments. It's a sequence of segments mm -hmm. and each segment should end, uh, start where the previous one ended. Ended. Okay, yeah. so how do we construct them? Shape contours. There are different ways. Different which, ways, yeah. Which we can do it. Uh, there's some like helper methods to construct mm -hmm. them out of, for example, rectangle or maybe circle. we can show them on the guide. Yeah. Where? So let me see. Draw program. No. Drawing, drawing basics and drawing complex shapes. Mm -hmm. So in the complex shapes here, it it shows you that you can use this technique, this mm -hmm. contour builder. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit like having a pen and you can move exactly. around. Exactly. It's a bit like the Lego thing where the, you, you tell... The turtle. The turtle, yes, <laughs> exactly. Oh, don't spoil our age. But, uh, it's a, Yeah, the turtle graphic But approach. actually, you know that there's an ORX turtle? Yeah, I think it's, you mentioned it. Yeah, it's a new one. Yeah, nostalgia well, is a power. Okay. Driver. But this is huh? very... I think it's inspired by SVG. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So you can move to a position or make a line, straight mm -hmm. line to position. You can, I think you can lift. A curve, you can introduce yeah. a curve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess some people like it. I never mm -hmm. felt totally comfortable mm -hmm. with this approach. I, I like to think of, for example, of a sequence of points on the screen mm -hmm. and connect them. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or connect them with segments. And I find, I find this, this builder a bit maybe verbose for uh, what yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't end up using a lot. So mm. we're going to show you, uh, I mean, it's important to know that it exists, but yeah. we are going to show you a different way yeah. in which we can build shape contours. So okay. maybe, if this, uh, let me see, shape contour, I'm going to call it SSC. SC. Mm -hmm. One very simple way is, for example, use a rectangle and convert mm -hmm. it to a contour. So this, this do we have to explain. We have mm -hmm. to say that the, all, all the primitive objects that we have been introduced, like circles, like rectangles, like line segments as well, they have a contour mm -hmm. property associated. Yeah. And that's one way we can extract the contour from one of these uh, um, yeah, basic uh, building, building blocks. Yeah. Notice that now the way we render contours is with a different uh, call to drawer, mm -hmm. uh, so with a contour call. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, this is one approach. I, I'm going to change it because mm -hmm. to make it less confusing. Mm -hmm. But here um, we have a rectangle which is automatically defined. We've seen this in the past. Mm -hmm. So drawer bounds. This is a, a rectangle, and I can c calculate an offset. Mm -hmm. So I shifted it inwards for 100 mm -hmm. pixels, which this still uh, is a rectangle. Mm -hmm. And then I converted the rectangle into a contour. Exactly. But to confuse a bit less, and we can just make a rectangle directly. Mm -hmm. uh, rectangle, mm, we have to... Maybe from center we want to build it? Uh, or yeah, we can use no. both. Import class rectangle, which is this one. And yeah, I guess it has a bunch of mm, with x, y, width, and height. And yeah, there we have a small rectangle. Okay. We have from center also. And we can see that IntelliJ is telling us that SC is a shape contour. Mm. I will put it in the center of the screen. Mm -hmm. So there we have Perfect. from center. But not rem notice, well, it's out of the screen right now, but that we are calling contour. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is one way of making a contour. Mm -hmm. um, we can also make a contour out of a circle. Mm -hmm. um, we have to import it also. Import and... So as a rule of thumb, all these um, basic geometric primitives have a contour mm -hmm. associated. But the thing I normally do is make it from points. Yes. So by making them from points, technically we are making a piecewise linear mm -hmm. curve mm -hmm. that uh, goes through the points have that you know you choose. Um, I could go and type here a bunch of a list of points. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, list or list of, uh, and here specify a few vector twos. Mm -hmm. and that's very tedious. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna make a list, or well, let's say twenty random points on mm -hmm. the screen. Mm -hmm. I can use drawer bounds. No drawer bound. Yeah, unif uniform, uniform, and even. Add some margin, and 
the first argument is this: is a list of points. For I think you. I think you. But then, ah, okay. then I need to specify yes. if I want yes, it exactly uh, closed or open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> here you go. <laughs> so I think I think to make the thing less confusing, let's disable the filling yeah. thing so that we only concentrate on contours mm -hmm. in the sense of like curves yeah. as a um, generalization of. <laughs> My computer is telling me I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what do we say to the computer? Not today. No, not today. <laughs> so drawer fill is null. null. Exactly. So you can Super. see the contour there. Okay. Uh, it's very confusing, but let's add a few less. Okay, good. And this is a closed contour, mm -hmm. and uh, over render will basically connect yeah. automatically the beginning uh, uh, and the end. But mm -hmm. if you put false, yeah. it will leave them hanging, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Now, the interesting thing is that these shape contours object, they come with their own methods and property. Mm -hmm. For instance, one of the most, I mean, one that is very interesting is the notion of length. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so we can compute directly the, the length. Um, I'm just printing it here. This one has 5,608 pixels okay. in length. Super. Okay, so now what we can uh, try to uh, do, we could build, uh, th this is uh, a shape contour built from points, mm -hmm. we could build one from segments, mm -hmm. okay? And so there's another method called here from segments, mm -hmm. and that's slightly more tricky because then the segments have to be, have to be consecutive. Right, right, uh. they have to be consecutive. Uh, one way one could do this in this case, after you created the point, you uh, traverse the array of points by saying that uh, one is start and one mm -hmm. is, the, is the end. But, yeah. Uh, with yeah. zip with next is the yeah. ideal Or zip, or zip with next, yes. Yeah. But one is shifted, though. Yeah, zip with yeah. next, yeah. that's what you meant. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do is split this in two lines. Mm -hmm. um, so, so now we have we create a list of points, mm -hmm. and then we create the contour. Now I can I'll put this in one line. Uh, but what if we instead of from points we went from segments, mm -hmm. from segments, mm -hmm. and now let's see what arguments does it take? Segments, closed, polarity, and distance tolerance. Well. Um, the last two are mm, have defaults, so mm -hmm. you don't need to specify mm -hmm. them. So now here I want seg segments. Segments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do I create those segments? Uh, I can say my segs is mm -hmm. points. Uh, zip with next. Mm -hmm. uh, zip with next. So this basically will, will create an array of. Uh, ah, it says unit. Okay, uh, I thought he was was giving a pairs. Pairs. Uh, I have to return here something which is going to be a segment. Mm -hmm. But how do we, well, let me think, do, do we have here A and B? Yes. Yes. So you have the first point and the second point. Mm -hmm. And so we can create segments A and B. out of those. Mm -hmm. Import class segment. Mm -hmm. So now in, uh, in uh, this case that we are showing is redundant mm -hmm. because of course uh, we are considering p linear segments, uh, so it will not make much difference. Difference, but e this this approach shines where we consider quadratic segments, yeah. and cubic segments. Okay, but we still have to fix something. <laughs> okay, what is it? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna cut this here. And when I type this, see with next. Uh, it gives you a list of pairs. No. Why? So segs should be. Uh, I thought it was a list. I'm returning segment. Did I imp ah again? I imported the wrong segment. Ah, Sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> the import thing. So I want import shape now. Uh, sex. Okay. Right. So now I can specify here false for so I want it open. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So there is no difference no, basically to not before. Yet. But if we pass to quadratic or cubic segments, mm -hmm. now we can see the difference. And the way to create. Uh, quadratic or cubic segments, mm -hmm. which means basically probably curved segments, mm -hmm. is by adding more points here in the middle. Mm -hmm. So I can do something simple mm -hmm. like this. Uh, here, I this is one way of calculating the middle point between two points. Mm -hmm. This place a plus b and divided by two. Mm -hmm. You can also use more clearer options. Uh, is it mix? Yeah. 
Mix, yeah. uh, mix B0.5. Mm -hmm. This is also called LERP in other mm -hmm. yep. environments. In other so uh, still, this is not going to give no. uh, any change because... Why? Because these three points are yeah. collinear. Yeah. yeah. If the center point is exactly between the other mm -hmm. two, not interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, but... We can add... Uh, randomness. Um, uh, we yes. A we random can add vector. Also, we can add uh, B minus A. Uh-huh. B minus A. Yes. And we can normalize this. Uh-huh. This... Uh, normalized. Okay, and then multiply by say 10 or 20. So B minus say normalized. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, sorry, no, I wanted to take the normal yeah. of this. Yes, uh -huh. right? Right there. <laughs> so there is a normal method. Ah. But l we can do random first? Yeah, let's do yeah. random first. Let's do random first. No uh, so how do we do a vector? Let's do, vector? let's do, no, let's do from polar, from uh -huh. polar Cartesians. So, uh -huh. so from polar coordinates. Okay. Right? So we want to add here. Yeah. What we're trying to say, we want an offset. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and we're here fighting about <laughs> 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 which offset to uh, add. So polar, for yeah. example. We because we can, we can press, uh, yeah, polar, yeah. With random angle. Yes. Um, and random uh, fixed double length, like 10. Yeah. Double 360 angle. And then... 20, 20, uh, 20, yeah. And then Cartesian. Yes. So I think we look a bit before, no? Polar mm -hmm. coordinates before? We looked at polar coordinates yeah. before, We yes. can specify an angle mm -hmm. and a radius. And, uh, and the radius, and uh. then we transform them in a Cartesian back, yeah. basically. Yes, uh, so you uh, can see that we are seeing some uh, slight curves. Yeah. Hey, it's funny because you see the short curves mm -hmm. uh, are more bent than the long one. The reason is we have a constant radius, I think. And you know what we can do, though? We can make this radius dependent on the length of B minus A. Mm. Okay. Right? So, so val L, uh, something like this. A distance to yeah. B. Yeah. So now we know how far they are ap yes. apart from each other. And then this could be, I don't know, L times 0 0.5 or yeah. it's a percentage. Yes, oh. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, this. so now this radius will affect how curved the segments are. If I mm -hmm. reduce the number, then it's going to be mm -hmm. less... Um, yeah, curved. Mm -hmm. I want to make it thicker, so it's more. Since we have not much on this on the screen. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, let at least five pixels right. there. Super. Yeah. Now, what we can show that uh, once we create a shape contour, mm -hmm. right, uh, we can extract back the segments that made originally the shape contour, mm -hmm. and what we could do uh, to show this visually, we could uh, extract the segments and draw each of the segments with a different thickness that depends on the length. Uh -huh. Okay? Okay. So, uh, we can either do, like, e either use a, the absolute length and multiply by a factor, mm -hmm. or we can uh, find the shortest and the longest of the segments in the shape contour mm -hmm. and normalize to zero, one. Mm -hmm. You know, I just was thinking of a funny thing that... Mm -hmm. The, we don't need to extract the segments because we create the segments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah of, co of course, it's not, it's not efficient in this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just to say, like, you yeah. know, it's just to show yeah. how the lentil soup is made. Yeah. So you can see the shape contour has a segments property. Mm -hmm. And so we want to find the longest and the shortest, right? Exactly. So longest length is and we want the value we are not yeah. interested in any max by yes. e dot length length exactly so this is the way to find the the length of the longest mm -hmm. segment mm -hmm. the shortest uh, length mm -hmm. is segments by uh, no mean by and it it dot length right and now we can use these two values in uh, maybe we can map yeah, between zero and one, and these two extreme, the length. We can directly segment. map uh, a number into another number. Yeah. Yeah, yeah with that's a map what I'm function. Saying. Yeah, yeah. What should should we use the transparency first, for example, or uh, trans uh, thickness? Or thickness, okay. Yeah, uh, stroke uh, stroke weight. Yeah. So. Um, but now you have to yeah you have to do a uh, for each. Yeah, I'm gonna move fill here, mm -hmm. and our contours. I can do, let's see, segments mm -hmm. for each. Mm -hmm. uh, I will do something like drawer contour. No, drawer no segment. segment 
it, mm -hmm. or if I rename it, I, I call it seg, mm -hmm. and I want to set the stroke weight. Mm -hmm. Drawer, stroke. And you can map now the seg, the, the length of the segment. It's going to be equal to... Uh, map. Uh, ah. The weight is, yeah, seg dot length. Yeah. Map. And then the before, I have to say the before. And the before was like the longest uh, and the shortest and the longest. Yeah. Shortest, longest. Yeah. And then now we want what kind of thicknesses? Uh, two. One, yeah, or two to four. I was thinking of being more extreme. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, there's something missing here. Ah, it's a double. Required Found double. segment. Short Wait, short set. Uh, ah, because it's returning the segment. Ah, so I so you have to take length again. Ah, uh, that's funny. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we can see that the long, longest, long, uh, uh, invert the two, invert the longest and the shortest. Uh -huh. So we'll have the different effect where, you know, yeah. Yes. Nice. <laughs> so the short one is thick and the and long, the long one, are one are thick. <laughs> That's nice. I like the idea that is like you just, for a segment, you have a fixed amount of material. Yes. And if you stretch exactly. it very long. Exactly. It's a sort of <laughs> conservation of uh, material. It's like a rubber band. <laughs> yes. If you stretch it, like it's going to get yeah, thinner. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so should we show also uh, intersections between contours? Can In we intersect contours? Uh, sure, the same way I think, like with segments. Mm -hmm. um, Can we self intersect a contour? I think also, but I, I don't remember. Maybe should we do it in the next one? Because it's getting pretty long. Yes, okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, what we have seen here is how to c compute, create shape contours yeah. from points and segments. From and segments. Um, the various properties that we can uh, use, like length and uh, stuff like this mm -hmm. and uh, yes in the next episode we are going to explore uh, the similar geometrical properties that we've seen before but for shape contours mm -hmm. okay see you then see you soon ciao ciao